Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Irvin, also known as Kobo Man. Today we're going to fix my slow Wi-Fi issue. So what's going on is that I bought this adapter that I've installed in the computer that I use for recording these type of videos. And it happens to be slow. So right now I am running over the Wi-Fi. As you can see here, I'm connected to Wi-Fi. and But the things are really slow. It's not as good as when I was connected physically, meaning when I just plugged into the cable directly into this computer. However, I want to get rid of the cables. So this is why I wanted to get a wi-fi adapter that will allow me to do so but it has to be fast enough because right now i'm using the remote desktop protocol which also is taking up a lot of bandwidth and if things are not fast enough then i can't create a good video so let's do a bandwidth test you can see that i've done the bandwidth speed test before so i'm just going to do the google one and see what the speeds are now this adapter is supposed to run up to like 600 megabits now i'm not expecting it to run that that speed but i'm certainly expecting it to run more than 35 or 38 or 39 that is showing here so these are the uploads or download speeds and this is the upload speed now i have a really good upload speed i have an at t fiber and for those reasons this should be a lot higher right and this is why i'm experiencing some slowdown so let's find out what's going on with this and we're going to install it and upgrade it or whatever it needs to be done in order to make sure that i'm running at the correct speeds so i'm going to leave this up for comparison to troubleshoot this we're going to open up our device manager so if you have windows 10 or windows 11 go to your start button right over here on the left side right click it and select the device manager here we're going to look for problems. I'm just going to minimize what we had in the background here. And we're going to look for things that stand out. Obviously, we see some things here that stand out and with the exclamation mark here. This is something that if you installed a new adapter, whether it's Wi-Fi or anything else, if you see something like this where it says other devices and it says unknown device, and if your device is not working, this is where you would find them. So if you're if you installed a new adapter and you you don't see it, it's not working. This is where you would find, it and this is where you would try to troubleshoot it. For example, if you right click it, you can update, uninstall, or whatever else that you need to do. So we're gonna do something similar here, but let's kind of check for what the things that we're working on right now. So what are we using here? We're using a network Wi-Fi adapter. So it's a network adapter, whether it's physical or whether it's Wi-Fi, it's called network adapter. So for those reasons, we're going to expand network adapters, which is right here. Now, what you're seeing here is some virtual adapters. This is because I have Hyper-V virtual machines installed on this computer as well. So you can ignore these. These are virtual adapters. These are not physical adapters. All right, and here is our physical adapter that you plug in. This means that you plug in your internet cable directly into this. So this is what's built into the computer where it says PCIe GBE family controller and it's Realtek. This is a very typical brand that you would find on motherboards and computers. It's called a Realtek. However, we're looking for a wireless adapter and here it is. It says Realtek 8821CE wireless LAN. And here it is. It says here that it's installed at on PC. PCIe network interface card. So this is what we're looking for here. However, there is a big problem here. The adapter that I've installed is actually not Realtek. What it's called is actually a TP-Link. So this is actually a very affordable adapter and I know it works really well because I've used it before and it's actually a TP-Link PCIe Wi-Fi card that is AC600. So if you want to check this out to see what the same adapter to check it out, I don't know how much I paid for it, maybe $20, $30. Anyways, I don't know what the price is right now, but if you're interested, I will put a link in the description and on the first comment of this video. So if you want to check it out, it's going to be there. So that's a big problem, right? This is not a real tech. And why is it installed as a real tech? That's a great question. And especially if you're in IT and want to know about these things, the reason it installed a real tech is because this is most likely a universal driver that it's using. Universal driver meaning that this driver for this wireless card can be used for multiple wireless adapters. And this is why it decided to choose Realtek. So this is when I installed Windows operating system on this, it decided to choose a Realtek one because it's in a universal driver. And that's not what we want. We want to install a good driver specifically for this adapter so that way we can take advantage of the full speed of it. So that's what we're going to do. We're gonna go back to our window here. I'm going to just open up a new tab and I'm going to just go to Google and I'm going to copy the name that we have for our actual network adapter we're going to do a control c on this and then control v and i'm going to just type in 
driver download behind that. So I'm going to put in the full description of it and I'm going to say driver download because that's what we're going to do to test this. And here it is. This is for specifically for this adapter. It's the first thing that comes up here and it says TP link and it's TP link.com. And I know this is the correct driver because the name brand is TP link. So I'm just going to select this and I'm going to go from there. These results should be fairly accurate. But if not, you can certainly go to TP Link website directly. But I'm just going to click on this first one and see what happens. So here's what it is. It says here AC 600 wireless dual band PCI Express adapter. Sure enough, it does look exactly like the, the one I have. So, so far, so good. So whenever you're searching for a correct adapter, make sure you're doing this correctly and just kind of compare. The biggest thing to make sure is the name, right? Make sure the name. But if you have a picture like this, of course, it helps hugely i know it says here archer t2 version 1 i don't know what that is but i do know that we do have a driver so keep in mind that once you download something like this it may come with some kind of a software that controls this and that that's not necessarily what we need because we just need the driver itself but if it does come with some software that kind of controls this wi-fi type of stuff then that's fine you can remove it later on the main thing to do is to make sure you have a driver downloaded the correct driver downloaded so I'm just going to click and click on download here. I'm going to download it. The driver itself shouldn't be this size, but we're going to see what we have. So here it is. It downloaded it. I'm just going to open up the file location for this. And I'm going to right click this because it's a zipped folder. And I'm just going to say extract all. And I'm going to extract it exactly where it's at. So I'm just going to extract it right here where it's at. And then from there, we're going to install it. So we have a couple options here. We can go and open up this folder. And we're going to set, we can do a setup, which may install different things and this and that. And we may have to do that. But however, I don't want to install any software that comes with it necessarily. I just want the driver. And it looks like the driver is here just browsing through the folders that came with this package. And it looks like the driver is in there. So I have Windows 10 64-bit. And if you have 32-bit, then you make sure you select the 32-bit. However, you don't have to worry too much because you can do some trial an error to see if you have the correct driver by simply navigating the windows 10 or windows pc in general should be able to tell you whether whether it, it can see a compatible driver so the next step we're going to do is certainly to open up our device manager again i'm going to right click and update driver we're certainly going to do that we're going to navigate to that folder and we're going to do that for sure but i want you to understand what's going on here and i just want you to show you that this is indeed what we're doing so our Wi-Fi adapter here, signal here, where it says signal. I'm just going to right-click and I'm going to select open network and an internet settings. And what I mean by signal is just the icon for Wi-Fi, sorry. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to select change adapter options here, just so we can see the different adapters that are available on my computer. I'm going to close some of these things in the background. But here is our Wi-Fi enabled adapter that we're seeing and indeed it says here realtek 8821ce wireless lan so i'm going to also leave this up just so you can see the change happen to this and you can see we're connected the reason we you can see that it's connected because you see the si signal icon here where it says sort of like when your cell phone signal type of stuff all right so that's it that's it for sure right this is the adapter that we have there is nothing else i just wanted to make sure that you know that this is going to change to a different name where it's going to say TP link or something else. We'll say. So again, so we're going to right click. I'm going to select update driver and I'm going to browse my computer. If I select search automatically for drivers, it's just going to search for the known location. And, and most of the time for Windows, it's going to be system 32 folder. In this case, we want to specify, tell it, hey, don't forget to look in this folder. So we're going to select browse my computer for drivers. And I'm going to select browse here. And I'm going to select our downloads folder. And here is our Archer folder. But I'm going to dig deep, a little bit deeper. You don't necessarily have to do it. I'm going to select driver files here. I'm going to select driver and Windows 10 64 bit. So I'm going to click OK. I'm going to select next. Now it should be able to find the, the correct and compatible driver and automatically and, and just let you select it, this and that. And it looks like it kind of did that. And then there it is, TP-Link Wireless PCI Express Adapter. So it automatically found it and installed a correct driver, which is great. So it did that. You can see how it, it changed automatically to TP-Link Wireless PCI Express Adapter. And that's fine. So it on its own, it was able to find it and install it automatically. Now, here is what 
happened in our other settings, you can see immediately that it changed the TP-Link Wireless Express adapter. So this is the change you're doing just so you're aware, and that's the reason I wanted to make sure that you see this, so that way you can learn from it, not just necessarily fix your Wi-Fi issue, which is great, right? That's the point of this video, but I want you to also understand why we're doing this and what kind of changes are happening. Alternatively, if you select, if you right-click it and select Update Driver and then select Browse My Computer for Drivers, you can also select Let Me Pick from a List of Available Drivers on My Computer. And you can see that this one that we've just installed also now shows as available. But if you want to see if there are any other drivers available in case this one doesn't work that came with the package that we've downloaded from TP-Link, you can now select have disk here and you can navigate to the same folder that we've looked at. And here's the proof to you that automatically by default, it looks into system 32 uh, folder within Windows that uh, chooses whatever is available from Windows, from Microsoft. So this is where it by default looks for. So however, we're going to go to downloads folder. We're going to select this here. We're going to navigate and here you actually really do have to navigate unless they've changed this recently. But I always like to navigate directly to the folder and I'm going to select open. Here is our driver. We're going to click OK. And indeed, this is the only one that's available. So this is fine. We've installed the correct one, but sometimes you'll have multiple options of different adapters and you can try to see which one works best for you. Luckily, that's the, that's the last one that we've had. That's the only one that we had. And now we're going to do a test. We're going to do a, a bandwidth test. I'm going to close this window where we downloaded this from. Here is our previous window where we did the bandwidth test. I'm going to search for it again. I just want to make sure I have the the correct wording bandwidth speed test Google I'm gonna run the test and here we go and there it is the huge huge speed increase now this is really good for me because it's a Wi-Fi but looks like it's almost tenfold meaning ten times faster when it comes to download speeds upload speeds have improved a lot as well but I'm not too concerned about the upload speeds at this time, but it is really good. If the upload speeds were less than 10 or 12, then I wouldn't necessarily be happy with that, but I'm okay with this. This is good enough for me. This is good enough for somebody who's wanting to, you know, use it for a gaming computer or wherever else. And this is good enough for even some file transfers. So if you are looking for a decent, affordable, adapter that is you know capable of these speeds you can certainly look at this now we can just briefly i forget how much this is how much this thing is i don't it wasn't expensive i'm pretty sure i bought it on amazon let me just do a quick search go to amazon and we're going to just paste that in just to see how much it actually costs right now for this adapter see if it's worth it here it is yeah it was like 30 dollars. this is the one I bought this is the same one here for 20 bucks here it is I don't know why this one is oh this is the the faster one anyways I'll put a link for both of these this is the one I bought it was only twenty dollars and I'm happy with these speeds let me just expand this here all right here we go so yeah this is a dual band wireless network adapter there it is Archer T2 T T2e <laughs> high gain whatever Anyways, this is for desktops, right? So if you have a desktop computer, this is what you would install. And you just have to make sure that you have one of the PCIe available slots to you. So if I select on this, you can see that it uses a PCIe slot. And even if you, and preferably if you have like a four times or six times, I forget what this one is, but you can insert it in any of them. That So if you have like a 16 times adapter that you're not using, you can still put this one in. There it is. So I think this is a four times PCI Express, but you see how short it is? If you happen to have a long adapter, if you happen to have a long adapter or a slot, I should say, that's available, not adapter, I apologize. If you have a long slot for PCI Express, you can still put this in. It doesn't have to be the tiny one. It'll still work. It'll just use, you know, four lanes of the speed. And it comes with two different adapters. I apologize. I don't want you to think that this video is about me trying to push this product at all because it's really not. I just happen to have this problem, as you saw, because whenever I installed the new operating system, and I did this 
whenever I installed RAID 0 on this computer and I had this problem and I figured I might as well make this video just to show you. Anyways, that's what that is. If you find this helpful, educational, please just like the video, share it with friends if they need this. And um, thank you so much. I hope you have a wonderful day. Take care. Bye-bye.